اللعب المعروف جدا لدى محبي السرعة في الألعاب في إصدار جديد ران أعلن عنه هنا في E3 2011 بلوس أنجلوس ستصدر في الأسواق في شهر نوفمبر وعلى عدة منصات نتعرف على نيد فور سبيد ران demonstrating Need for Speed The Run. It's the latest installment of the Need for Speed series. Uh, we're going to be playing on the PlayStation 3. And uh, essentially, this is a snapshot of the game uh, about halfway through where the main character gets in a little bit of trouble uh, when he gets to Chicago. Uh, the Run itself is a race from San Francisco to New York. The game's coming out November 15th. You're going to be playing as the main character, uh, Jack Rourke, who starts the game. He's in a little bit of trouble with the mob. Um, and this sort of signifies the point of the game where the mob catches up to him and he's got to do whatever he can to try to survive this encounter. Uh, he has to commandeer a cop car and then he's got to try to get back into the run. This is also being developed on uh, Electronic Arts' new uh, Frostbite 2 engine, uh, which is also the same as uh, engine as uh, Battlefield 3 has been using. And what we've been doing, trying to do is uh, work on the engine, make it uh, better for racing. You know, this is Chicago downtown. As uh, a lot of people uh, from Chicago have played, they're amazed at the level of accuracy. You're now driving the cop car. Uh, the mob helicopter is going to start tracking you in a second. Uh, they're basically going to catch up with me. And then uh, that's basically when the bullets start flying. So here we go. They've just come into the scene. Now at this point of the game, uh, I'm now getting shot at. So what I actually have to try to do is swerve around the road. Uh, making sure that I stay out of the spotlight. So this is a lower whacker. Um, this is essentially where uh, we get a moment of reprieve from the helicopter. Uh, now you got to dodge all the traffic. Um, all of these are licensed traffic cars. All right, so now I'm coming out of the end of lower whacker and what's going to happen is uh, pretty quick here, the uh, helicopter is going to get back on me and basically just trying to use whatever cover I can to try to get through this level. Autolog is uh, going to be back in our game. Obviously, that was introduced in uh, Hot Pursuit last year. Um, and what that's going to be doing is it's tracking my friend's best time. Uh, in this case, it's probably one of the demo machines here. And uh, what it's doing is a real-time split time of that machine. So I get to see, as I'm racing the race, am I ahead or behind uh, basically all of my friends that have also played the game. So I can see where, which corners uh, they've, they've got, gotten me on, where I need to improve my race. It's Need for Speed the Run. It's coming out November 15th. Uh, it's going to be available in every major retailer across North America and Europe. Um, and it's going to be released on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, PC, Wii, 3DS, iPad, and iPhone. You can go on to easorigin.com and get more information about the run or ea.com. كرازلي اسم قديم في عالم صناعة الراديوز منذ العشرينات تعود اليوم في سي اس 2011 بلاس فيغاس لتقدم راديوز وأجهزة أخرى بتصاميم قديمة تعود إلى الثلاثينات والأربعينات والستينات ولكن بمواصفات تقنية حديثة جدا إذا كان لديكم حنين لنقل الأغنيات القديمة على الأسطوانات القديمة إلى الكمبيوترز أصبح بالإمكان فعل ذلك بواسطة كرازلي لنتابع من كرازلي ماذا عرضت في سي اس Everything that we do today is obviously state-of-the-art electronics, but it all has the warmth and the look of the old days. Okay, let's go ahead and, and take you through the revolution, which we like to say is the ultimate record player solution. So it obviously plays your 33 and a thirds and it plays your 45s. As a, it's a standalone, so it has a, a, a speaker built in. You can also stream it wirelessly to any FM receiver that you may have in the home. So, that allows you to want to enjoy the player as a standalone, but if you want to run it through your stereo, your system at home, any FM radio, it's a pretty simple solution. So nothing too difficult about doing that. So it stands as a player by itself, or you can run it through your FM. So just a real simple, great sounding piece. And at the same time, you can go ahead and load your music, take it from analog to digital. The Revolution comes with a Audacity software. 
So on the back, we have a USB. So it has your USB out into your laptop or your PC and go ahead and convert your analog to digital. So it's a very simple solution for that. Portable, you can just run it on batteries. Just on the bottom, or obviously plug it in. So very simple solution. iSolo is a very simple AM FM radio from Crosley. What we do with a piece like this, it's a little bit of a hybrid. So it's an old dial. This is an old 1950s Crosley dial that we kind of put into a little bit more of a tech series, all encased in a warm piece of wood. So it's an AM FM, and it's also a docking system for your iPhone or your iPod. We've got a couple of our um, telephone series here. Our phones are almost more of an accent piece than anything. You'll find it uh, put in the home, maybe in the hallway, the den, where you might want a telephone, but you're more looking for the aesthetic factor than the actual telephone. And this is our popular iJuke. So we marry the technology of the iPod, which is really the ultimate jukebox, into a Crosley jukebox. And you see all the lighting and all the bubbles and everything from just like the original. So this is a copy of the old 1015 Wurlitzer. And this is a piece that we've had out for a couple years and it does extremely well. It's a great piece, good seller for us. This is our portable PA, and obviously uh, you can dock your iPod, your iPhone into it. It also comes with the microphone, so this is kind of the um, total solution for tailgating, or if you had a meeting anywhere you needed to broadcast to have a PA, it's a, a great solution for that. It also has your inputs of aux in, line in so that if you had a guitar and you were just looking for an amp, it offers that. Totally portable so that you just lift it and you're on the go. Well, you can go to crosleyradio.com and certainly see all of our products there and you can also shop on crosleyradio.com. ايضا ان اي بي 2011 بلاس فيغاس التقينا بكريستي كريستي معروفه بالديسبلايز بالشاشات وايضا بالبروجيكتور عم تعرف على نايترو بروجيكتور ضو وبنفس الوقت بروجيكتور لموفيز ومايكرو تايلز مثل ما شايفين ديسبلاي ممكن سحب كل تايل لوحده بهالشكل to start with uh, today is to show you our Christie micro tiles. These uh, modular uh, projectors, each one of these squares is a projector. It's LED and DLP technology. They're suitable for backdrops on broadcast sets uh, as well as digital signage and uh, uh, corporate uh, customers as well use these as lobby displays. It's uh, front facing screen and behind it uh, is, is the projector. By having the screens come off the front, you can uh, service and maintain your projectors a lot easier than going around behind the projector, especially when space is a premium. It is very, very suitable for broadcast sets, so we just like to be able to show the versatility of our, of our products. We're showing people um, how they can set up a broadcast set without any obstacles, those sorts of things, and not having to worry about the, the lighting and other situations in front of um, the, the set. Uh, what you see here is our Christie YK200, and in, within the, the uh, moving yoke, is our uh, Christie Roadster S Plus 20K. It's a 20,000 lumen projector, and the yoke enables you to move the projector to various locations on wall, ceiling, uh, floor, wherever you want to uh, project your images. We offer two uh, yoke styles in the Nitro Solutions. We also have a single arm yoke, which is suitable for uh, DLP as well as an LCD uh, projector, um, and we also have five light heads that also fit on the, the single arm yoke. With the uh, Christie Nitro Solutions, it's DMX controlled, so you are able to uh, control your zoom and focus as well as all of the movement all on your same control pa panel that you control your lighting. So this is very suitable for theaters, uh, building architecture, 
any place that you really want to have a, a creative and different display. For any information about any Christie product, please visit our website, uh, www.christydigital.com. تابعونا اي تاك عبر الحره والحره.com ويوتيوب.com سلاش الحره واخر اخبار التقنيات والبرنامج من خلال فيسبوك وتويتر على اي تاك شو تابعونا اي تاك عبر الحره والحره.com ويوتيوب.com سلاش الحره واخر اخبار التقنيات والبرنامج من خلال فيسبوك وتويتر على اي تاك شو بمناسبه العيد ال20 لاطلاق سونيك اعلن هنا في اي 3 2011 بلوس انجلوس عن لعبه سونيك جينيريشنز الذي تجمع سونيك القديم الذي اطلق عام 1991 عندما كان قصير القامه وذات عيون سوداء مع سونيك الحديث اللي اطلق عام 1999 عندما اصبح طويل القامه مع عيون ملونه سونيك جينيريشنز على اكس بوكس 360 بلاي ستيشن 3 ونينتندو 3 دي اس This game is going to be all about the best levels from Sonic games over the last 20 years, reimagined and built from the ground up. In Sonic Generations, you're playing as classic Sonic with the original Genesis physics. Uh, and as we're running through here, you're going to see stuff that you've seen in all the original Sonic games, the springs, uh, the backgrounds, the waterfalls, the stuff in the palm trees there, which is very, very classic Sonic. The Golden Rings are, of course, back. Golden Rings are in every, every Sonic game, it seems like. So, they're here. All right, here we go. So, as we finish Classic Sonic, you see the corkscrew from Sonic to Hedgehog 2. And then we finish right here with the old traditional signpost. So, now we're going to switch to Modern Sonic and take a look at that. Um, you have two new moves. You have the boost, which was introduced in Sonic Unleashed, and you also have the homing attack, which was introduced in Sonic Adventure era. So, Now, just like in the classic stages, there's multiple paths we can take here. So here's the homing attack, where we home into enemies like that, and there's also the boost, which we can use like that, to go very quickly. There's rail grinding, which we've seen in some of the previous games. We can jump rails back and forth here, like that. And then here we can boost all the way through these enemies. When we're boosting, they can't hurt us at all. Now the boost, however, does have a meter, so we can only use so much of it before we run out. You can get the meter back by doing tricks, by taking out enemies, and by collecting rings. So as modern Sonic, you can really see the beautiful backdrops and the stages they put here. Sonic, for all of its, uh, its speed, is also very, very much about uh, in often cases, about the backdrops and the scenery that you see. And the waterfalls in this case are a great example of that. Now you can see new stuff like a giant fish that will come and attack us here and try and catch us. And we have to go fast enough to outrun the fish. Here we go, we'll see if we make it. We'll try once more, got it. And this is the highest path, the hardest one to stay on. There we go. Now because it's the hardest one, it's also the fastest. So we can get to the stage at the end of the stage, much, much quicker by using this. So as we finish up, one of the last moves you'll see here in Green Hill is the slide, which is circle. You can slide underneath those platforms right there. And here, the environment is interactable, so we can destroy the bridge, and now we can run through here, which is a secret passageway to get to the end of the level faster. You can sidestep with the shoulder buttons here, and right there is the end of the stage. That is modern Sonic and Sonic Generations. Much, much faster. You've got the boost, you've got the homing attack, the new moves. The game is coming out holiday 2011, and it's coming out on Xbox 360, PS3, and 3DS. It's really facebook.com slash Sonic is the Sonic that track page, and also Sega on Twitter for more information.
جي اي جنرال الكتريك تعود مجددا الى معرض سي اس بعد غيبه طويله مع اهتمامها بتقنيات المستهلكين لتقدم نيكليوس هوم انرجي مانجر لمراقبه وقياس استهلاك الطاقه داخل المنزل وايضا وات ستيشن محطات لتزويد الطاقه للسيارات الكهربائيه This is our new Nucleus Home Energy Manager. It's actually a small computer. Looks like kind of like a wall wart that you might put in the side of the wall. It has um, a computer in it, a lot of data storage. It'll hold data for up to three years worth of data. It uh, has three radios inside of it. It has two Zigbee radios and one wireless radio. One of the Zigbee radios connects to the smart meter on the outside of your house that are being rolled out by the local utility companies. Another radio, another Zigbee radio connects to the smart appliances. In this case, it'll talk to a smart dryer or smart water heater here or the other smart products behind me. And it'll have the energy information being used by those appliances will come to this device. And it then connects to the third radio, which is a Wi-Fi radio, which allows you to see that energy usage information on your PC. The software in this case is showing us energy usage being used by this dryer, which is at 2.8 kilowatts right now. Now, 2.8 kilowatts doesn't mean that much to a lot of consumers. They really care about dollars. So you can just move that slider over. I can make it move this morning, right? And it'll convert it to dollars for you. So right now, it's costing me about 34 cents an hour to run my dryer. It'll also show you history. It'll show you your rates, how much energy is costing at any given time. Right now, I'm running at 10 cents a kilowatt hour. It'll also show me how much I'm using on my appliances. It also starts to bring some elements of automation into your products as well. In this case, it'll tie into your smart thermostat, which is down here below. It allows me to program my thermostat very, very easily by having access to the schedule online. You can also change your settings remotely on your handheld device, your iPhone or your Android phone. Plugs into the wall. It's got a small connector on the bottom, which is a, a connector that'll go through your ethernet. If you don't have Wi-Fi, you can hardwire it into your computer if you want. And that's really all it is to it. It's extremely simple. Go to geappliances.com. Uh, we're standing next to a Chevy Vault, as well as a GE residential watt station, which would be a product that you would put in your home so that you could charge your electric vehicle overnight before you went to work the next day. So this is the SAE J1772 connector. It's standard for all the vehicles. So a Chevy Volt, a Nissan Leaf, a Mitsubishi. You can pull up to our charging station. It'll work on absolutely any of them. We're developing identical products in both Europe, China, and South America. They've all got their own plug standards, and we'll match all the local standards there. So you'll know that any electric vehicle you're driving, you can pull up to a GE Watt station, you can plug in and get a charge. It's a 40 amp breaker in your house panel. Uh, it's a conduit run, and then it hooks up directly to the charging station. So and very easy to install. It will be fully nucleus compatible. So you, you've seen some of the great stuff they're doing over here in the appliances group. You can go onto the home energy manager. You can look at all your appliances, and the watt station will show up. Go to GE.com, uh, and you can see links to the watt station on there. We've got some great resources there. الرائج هذه السنة في سي اس 2011 بلاس فيغاس بالإضافة إلى تقنيات أخرى تعرفنا عليها في الحلقات السابقة هو إنترنت تي في مشاهدة التلفزيون بالإضافة إلى الإبحار في شبكة الإنترنت من خلال التلفزيون دون الحاجة إلى جهاز آخر موصول بالشاشة سوني وعبر موقعها الكبير هنا عرضت سوني إنترنت تي في مع كل التطبيقات التي تقدمه سنتعرف عليه معا Today is actually the TV product itself that Sony makes. Um, we have the 32 inch in front of us here. We actually make four TV sizes. Uh, this is the actual remote that we actually use for the Sony internet TV powered by Google TV. Meaning we're using the Google Chrome browser to search the internet while you're watching TV. Well, the remote that it comes with, it's unique to this product because this remote actually gives you a four quality keyboard. You have uh, Blu-ray player options on here for uh, playback when your music streaming. And you also have your TV functions on here as well. So I can control my TV guide, and if I have a DVR hooked up, I can also pull up content from there. I can change my channels, I control my volume, and I also have a mouse pad on here so I can control uh, when I'm on the internet as well. So what we do is you're, you're connected, we have HDMI service hooked up to so an HD program. And say you wanted to search the internet, check your email, or maybe just uh, update your fantasy football, for example. We have a quick search button that you would press and it pulls up the search bar on the TV itself. This allows me to web, go across the whole web 
and you have the full web of your access and search whatever you want. You go to your website uh, if you want to look up your favorite actor. So we'll put in George Lopez as maybe something you want to search. And you type in through your keyboard here. And what is this going to do is actually going to search the web plus TV and tell me what's on TV playing related to my search or what's on the web if I wanted to see a maybe YouTube video, Wikipedia, or if I want to search the full web of George Lopez. So with the navigation key, which is really pretty easy to use, I would just go down, select where I wanted to go. It would actually take me to the web, and it's the same web page you'll see on your computer at home. Now from here, if I still wanted to see my web show, or my, my favorite, the TV show that I'm playing at that time, if it's a sports or movie, I can also do that. I will hit the TV button on here, they bring me back to the TV. Now, I'm back to the live TV again, and this is a dual view button, which you would hit. It actually minimizes TV in the corner. I have now both TV and internet on the same screen at the same time. In addition to this, if you wanted to bookmark your favorite pages, it's customizable to yourself. So you can choose your favorite websites and actually download to the TV, keep them here. So when you turn on a TV, you can access them anytime you want. I can actually go to what's on, which is really simple. I can go by files, and maybe if I'm looking into sports, I would choose sports, and it would tell me everything that's playing on right now in my cable. Uh, you can go to sonystyle.com.